Hey guys, the Animal King here. Welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. Uh, last episode, we got fucking fired. Isn't that fucking brilliant? You just barely knocked. Like the fuck? I mean, you left. What do you mean? You weren't there for more than three seconds. They sent the chairwoman to wield the axe. You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I get it. My name isn't great for business. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but the press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce a resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. Look, when I'm Bruce Wayne, this is the only logic I gotta be nice. Really but when I'm Batman, I'm gonna be a dick. Thanks. Don't mention it. Hungry kitty. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was. <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Does this man even have any business experience? As you know, Oswald's parents were victims of their father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having him step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name, you know? I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? Or was it the revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, Don't like none of those options for good. Runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tunnel while it's all over. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid yeah. we need you to leave the building. So is my wallet compared to yours. Personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Congratulations, Betty. Surely we can let you take us along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with my son anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then, I'll help you out with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's working, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. You think that maybe I'll add a fish tank, a large one, something exotic. Yeah, at least now there's something you're doing that's related to birds. When is he gonna start controlling some fucking birds? Like, that's one of the things that Penguin's known for. Being able to control birds like Selena is able to control cats. You know, one of those things in fiction that you don't ask questions about because as soon as you get an answer, things become less interesting and things can start getting bad. 
Like you start explaining too many things in your story, then things can get bad. You take away some of the fun and magic out of it. But yeah, where the fuck are your birds? I can't believe I just now thought of this, even though this is not my first time playing this game. What? Where's this man's birds? I know he has a bird mask, but he's gotta have his birds. I can't do this to you. This isn't over yet. This is the entrance. I took care of it. You can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. You stay out of it. They'll go near it and they won't be able to connect it to me. It's hmm. not that easy. Lucius, huh? I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I mean, I'm a smart mind. But you know what they're up to. I need to run information I can. I mean, no, Lucius, I need you to stay here. What? You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. I mean, I'm Keep pretty sure Batman's enough, smart enough to handle some of this shit. Damn, why doesn't he have the blueprints? Love this violin. I don't know, ever since I started making beats, I just became way, way more in tune to like instrumentals and games and stuff. Not like I was ever not focusing on them, but it's like I just become my ear just started going ten percent more on it. Maybe 20. I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Well, I'm glad I have you around. Always. That bird is going off of its nuts. He said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof. Oh, shit. All right. With the children of Arkham accessing more than tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. I think someone just got shot. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this. Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. He had access to the GCPD, we know that. The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Like fucking Mitch McConnell was senator. Deceased two weeks before the election. Patients came into Arkham going back twenty years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor, the security footage. These date back decades. You this haven't gotten that already? Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. 
like there was no what does this do oh listen to You guys hear my mom talking to cats? Something she does 90% of the day. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? They were letting us do the other things? It wasn't like the drone search thing? We're at. Fuck! Uh, yes, let your car come out of the back cave. Yes. One day this dog is gonna jump on this fucking lunch table and then fucking knock all my shit. Pilots taking over. Boost is the flat tire. Is this? For some reason, I'm always a bull. Why was he so sarcastic at saying that? Oh yeah, because he's Batman. Anyone follow you? No. Good. That's good. But yeah, I'm always able to sneak up on someone they don't know, and it's like I thought they knew I was there. Like I thought they hear the door, thought they heard my footsteps, and then they're like, "Jesus, Mikey, you fucking scared the shit out of me." I'm like, "What the fuck did I do?" That was kind of a dick. Yes. But what? God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I thought that was the logical and nice thing to say at the same time. Been acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology of Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of our Using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list too. Bastards. Like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, and I'm never alone anymore. I know that was risky, but. The children of Arkham. They, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried it to me, and they will try it again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there. What? They're already outlaws. You don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You oh. strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. Just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He had to have morals too. The GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. I'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know Jesus. Land, but that 
man's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. That man works outside the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I'm not imagining, just not imagining we had an army of vigilantes just like him. He'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. They want to play dirty. We'll play huh? Huh? dirty. There needs to be a story where it's like how do, you, how do you guys like this? One of the ways that Batman teaches Damian Wayne why he shouldn't kill people is that, like, Harvey Dent is dying. He's so close to death. There's no way he can come back from this. And um, Bruce Wayne takes Damian to the hospital, but dressed as Batman and Robin. Then fucking he unveils his mask in front of Bruce, revealing Bruce Wayne, his best friend, is actually Batman. And then there's this moment where it shows Damian, like, hey, we don't have to fucking kill this shit. We don't have to be too brutal. We don't have to be like the League of, League of Assassins. You know? That's just my fucking idea. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud. That's all. No, I didn't mean anything. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, uh, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Yeah, yeah. I hate that there actually there are scenes where Batman goes to a therapist. Like like with fucking Rick and Morty out there going to therapists. It's like you're taking away some of the things that make these characters likable. Yes, Batman is a mentally unstable dickhead, but that's one of the reasons why we like the character. Rick Sanchez is a mentally unstable dickhead, but we like that about him. It's not because they're bad people, because they execute those bad people very well. Fucking better. I think you might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals your source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to swear. After all, it did work with me. And the fucking scenes are having a seizure. You love eating your fucking toast. Oh, huh, dog. Bellas for Rebels. Okay. Damn, how hungry are you? Children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. 
We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that you think I wouldn't fucking notice that? ...their power often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Hmm. Their message is taken yeah, track. Better fucking remember that. Bitch. I need to know everything they told you. It's not everything you want. It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption, sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but part of what we ended up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You were hiding the truth. Yeah, huh. bitch. The editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you're like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half of my message. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I'm going to need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Bell. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce Wayne did. Everyone it. deserves it. I still want to believe he's a good guy, too, but the information that surfaced, everyone's angry with him. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way would have slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. Well, I had to get all the fucking evidence in order to get fucking Falcone through all these years. Give me a fucking break. You can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So... What are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? People want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. Bitch, you ain't walking away from this. We are not done. We have a deal. Yeah, but you could also lose your life from not doing this. Please don't tell anyone what it is to you. Or just your legs. Batman's not gonna do that. He's not gonna kill you. He's just gonna break your legs. Gonna be my oracle, bitch? Wait, that sounded weird. Load, you little cunt. Everything's dark, quiet. It's empty. No sight of the children of Ark. They may not have gone far. I swear, the stuff that he... I swear, that statement I made sounded like a dickhead statement. But I thought it was a logical statement. But he said that so nicely. But when I say a nice little words up there, then I think I'm say nice. This game is like, oh, he's gonna say, instead of, I'm sorry for your loss, he's gonna say, Yo, get over your fucking dead kid already. I know I've happened like five seconds ago, but deal with it. The officer that was taken from the 
construction site. Shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I'd feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. Uh, Dude, look at the other parts of the body. People be injecting shit into their feet, man. Executed. So I freaking crack, not crack, map scars. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must end on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. Oh, this thing. What is this? A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set. No, I thought you just leave the activation device on the ground. And like, I thought that's what everyone did. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Bruce Wayne must pay. So all, the, all these other people should also pay. There's two. These random people. You know, people who probably also got hurt by this Bruce Wayne. That's the shrapnel that I found in the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Oh yes, good. Good statement there. Here. World's greatest detective, guys. Someone did chemistry here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Uh, what? <laughs> Why it be all over there? This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have suspected that um, a empty bottle will be because someone ran out of it. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? I wonder if he got, like, things hurting him from the barrel. Like, instead of those being bullets, those are just... Go to the bitch! What exactly are they planning to release? Is there anything else? Oh, they gotta put the barrels on the fucking train. This train car. Yeah, clearly, Alfred, even though you're not even fucking here. Oh, fuck my little dick. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Looks like they ran out of the chemical. Yeah, now to... I gotta redo this shit. Fucking move, bitch. Sorry, that's a problem with so many fucking Telltale games. A bitch just wouldn't fucking move. Exactly are they planning to release? Okay, apparently that isn't fucking solved. 
What else am I missing? Am I missing... Like, if it's yellow, does that mean that's not good? And I've just been wrong on everything that I just fucking came up upon? Or is there a fucking staircase I'm supposed to climb on? Look, I don't even know. Where is that supposed to go? Because there's no way that is this. Okay, maybe if I break the link? What happens if I do this and that? Okay, and then I connect this guy with this shit. They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed in the skin. There we go. Why was this so fucking hard? The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. I thought they already weaponized it. Was it not a weapon to begin with? Set to go off just as it rolls in over the crops. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. It can infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. Jesus. But see, usually in other media, fucking Selena would not work with these terrorists. Like in Batman the Animated Series. She didn't work with Red Claw. Okay, you two. Get these mixed. Loaded onto the train. This way. There is no good reason. She plans whether the side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on the small line of her mind. We're done here, right? Okay. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. <laughs> Might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. Oh no. How did any of them like know that that was that clank? Like tons of things move in this bitch. Like that thing up there, that's probably having a lot of fucking clanks. Give me time for this shit. <laughs> Just fucking 
fucking knocked him over. Yeah, that's true. If you wanted this, why not have Scarecrow, man? Get the fuck. Get fucking done, bitch. Man, what even is that? Tell me, I have to slowly crawl. my least favorite thing from the whole series from this whole like even from the sequel game You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot, taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. Ain't no way. You're gonna take him down on your own. It's not that bad. I can do worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home with a body. But you don't know me. I don't think you're getting very far 
around the shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here as you want. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. I'm sorry, no. That's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had a candle deal with their leader. I had a plan. I wasn't here to save you. I thought you'd gone back over to the other side. You thought you were going to take me out, did you? Well, if I had to. <laughs> Good luck. Bitch, I had you dangling from a fucking building. One last job to if I didn't need your answers, I would have just, like, jumped down and fucking... Thanks again, Bratz. I'm sorry I messed things up with that guy. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, that does nice. not look like Iris. I mean, Isis. Hey, little one. I hope she likes you. Okay, she really doesn't like you. And some cats just don't like men. Yeah, but she does. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? It has not been my life. I find out my father was just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it that you're hiding from someone like? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see. Difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. Except for those who deserve it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good Not men really. don't lie like thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. <laughs> I can't say she's more than that. Uh, just drink a fucking cup. Yeah, that's better than just doing nothing. That just shows awkwardness. Like you, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. From what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town. The high is nice, but it wears off. This doesn't have to be your life, man. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. I'm out of Mohawk County. I'm here for you. That's not what I wanted. Thanks, Bats. Mm. I think you may have misinterpreted what I was saying. Yeah, you're so, fucking... In Harvey's mind, you're her... You're his girl. Harvey's my friend. I can't do this to him. There's nothing going on with you and Harvey. But he thinks so. Let me go get you a blanket. What do you want from me? At least she's not kissing her. When's that not a good idea? Got anything stronger than water? What kind of a girl do you think I am? Never met any anyone else who did this, you know? You can't be Batman all the time. So what's a night off look like? Recovery? What do you do when you take off your mask? Are you kidding? I love it. I feel more at home in a suit than I do as Bruce Wayne. You know, 
just and yet people want to put him for therapy, even though that's one of the reasons we like him. It's the same thing. If you don't want to do that, why do you keep putting your arm around her, man? And look, there are some, like, certain universes and stuff that I wouldn't mind Batman and Catwoman going together, but it's like, you know, not this one. Especially with this circumstance. Hell, even if they break up, it's still kind of a dick move to take, date your friends, like, ex, unless they are cool with it, like, genuinely cool with it. I want to get this. I want to get this over with, and I know there's only one more thing after this. Where are you anyway? I uh, I stayed in Salinas last night. Oh. Nothing happened. I never said it did. You didn't have to say it did. This might be a good I'm Batman. I can understand what you did. But yeah, that is my fucking examine. These strong magnets on these things. Really light weight though. You could do something like this. Then she's gonna sue you. She can afford to eat anywhere and she still chooses Chinese takeout. I'm not living in a good place. Well fucking Jesus, man. She she's not a billionaire. I'm probably gonna have to look that up. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry, man. Yo, you think dating the fucking mayor would fucking Help your fucking case if you were poor. Oh, there's the bitch. There you are. Well, I hope she didn't break anything. I already examined the fridge. Vacation spots are just marks on the burglary checklist. What do you mean open? I already got what I fucking wanted. Maybe she's got the essentials. Yes, essentials. A bagel and a fucking thing. Touch anything. I have to get this out. Bruce, what the? Seriously? What are you doing here? Come sit down, Harvey. No, I don't need to sit down. I spent the night here. That's it. You. You. I can't believe this. Don't. Don't touch me. I thought 
I would come here and... How stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you. Harvey, nothing happened. I promise you. Can you tell that I'm fucking angel? We, we will not be able to protect you. And I don't need you to. I hate that this game punishes you. Oh. I wonder if you can get hurt and not die. Cause that can happen sometimes. <laughs> 